Here we're going to set the pressure on our closed caps, or closed cap bronze pressure relief valve. So you don't really need uh, much to set this pressure. Really, you could set it in line, depending on what your media is, or using an air compressor. And we're using compressed air here. This is a, just a basic test rig that we have. Uh, we've got the inlet pressure on the bottom, so this is the supply coming in, uh, and the outlet. Now on the outlet, we've got it. You could have that just by audibly listening to it in the atmosphere. Uh, we've got it going into a bubble here so we can see if anything's coming out. So the first thing we do is remove the cap. You might be lucky and it's set exactly where you want it. Probably not. Usually the spring would have a range that it works in. Uh, the first thing you need to do is loosen off this locking nut here. That stops the adjustment moving where you might be getting vibration. Now, you want to establish where the setting range is. So we'll take the pressure up until this bubbles. So we've just got a reg down here. This could be just a generic pressure reg on your uh, compressor. Now that's bubbling. You want to take a look at the pressure. So this is 82 psi, it's bubbling. We want to set this one in, for instance, say 65 psi. So at the moment it's higher, so we want to loosen this off. So we loosen that back. Maybe. All right, so we loosen that back, start bubbling. So we want to check what that pressure was again. We'll bring the rig back up. So 65.5 PSI. Now that's pretty much spot on to what we want it. Uh, so we've got a little bit lucky there and got it on the second go. You might need to do a few tries back and forward. One thing that does make a bit of a difference though, once you've found your setting point here, is to put the cap back on. With a closed cap, there is a little bit of pressure put up into the cap when they relieve. So you wanna check to see, depending on how accurate you want, how much difference that's gonna make. So we'll take that back up again. So that's taken it down, instead of 65.6, it's gone to 64.9, which when we're going for 65 is well within tolerance. You'll want to have a look and see what your tolerances are when you're setting it yourself. Once that's done, we will take the cap back off and reset the locking nut. Purely just turn that locking nut down and give it a nip with a spanner. And then your pressure relief valve is set.